Thanks, Steve. So, hi, I'm Marcel Duram. I'm the um, Wiselow Open Source Project Maintainer. And today I'm talking about the Wiselow and the community engagement with this project. So, first of all, uh, this year, uh, Wiselow is turning five year old. So, I believe it's the oldest uh, performance tool, probably. And uh, yeah, put your hands together for you know, this tool, incredible tool that Steve started like five years ago. Yeah, first of all, since the last Velocity, uh, we announced the uh, uh, command line version for Wiselow. So, I'll demo pretty quick here. Here we have uh, it's an Node.js. Uh, uh, this command line requires a HAR file. So, in this case, I have already a uh, local google.com HAR file. So I'll show real quick, this is working. You have the results, but you can also have different output formats like XML and also um, plain text for better visibility. And you can also have more fine uh, granularity if you turn uh, information into a grade. You have all the offenders and all the rules applied. Um, so since we open source, we got in the first 24 hours a bunch of uh, people watching and forking, and so far I count like almost double the size. So hopefully after this talk, you know more people start contributing to the project, as you know following Estoyan's uh, recent blog post about how easy it is to contribute and how easy it is to deal with uh, pretty much JavaScript code. I think it's 86% of the code is mainly JavaScript. Uh, but you also have different people contributing, like uh, Sajal is an expert in CDN. He's been contributing a lot with the CDN rule. He's been tweaking and sending me pull requests for that. Uh, we also have uh, you know, people like uh, Johan Nilsson. He kindly donated the uh, wesel.org to the project, which is awesome. Now we have uh, this shiny new domain uh, as our front page. And uh, Mark from uh, Spain, he uh, translated everything from the website, and now it's available in, the, in this wiesel.es for the Spanish community, which is really awesome for uh, achieving more people around the world with different languages. Uh, and Neumann, who's a brilliant designer, he uh, came out with this uh, really awesome experience for users uh, in browsers and also mobile. So uh, pretty soon we're, we're gonna have the, a revamp of the interface. As you can see, it's very responsive, so you can work in both mobile and uh, desktop. And this is a recent integration we made uh, with uh, PhantomJS. Uh, PhantomJS is a headless web kit developed by Aria. I think this is an awesome project. I'm gonna show real quick this working. It's similar to uh, command line, so I have here the Weslow script, so I'm gonna run PhantomJS, Weslow. You have the, this is a help, so but you can run an uh, actual website, live website. So in this case, I'm gonna run google.com, which is not a hard file. And I'm gonna show the format uh, information basic, just keep simple. This is fetching the real data, and maybe you can format as uh, plain text. And also, you can, uh, uh, have like different uh, formats like I will show grade and also this is a new uh, output format we just introduced it which is JUnit which now makes even easier to integrate with your uh, continuous integration uh, process and also tab format. So you can test your page and uh, avoid like pr uh, performance regression uh, if you plug in your uh, continuous integration like Jenkins. Uh, this is a tab format for those familiar with. So I have this overall, so it passed the test. And this is a, you have this be, uh, beautiful report when you plug in your continuous integration. So there's no uh, excuse now for in, uh, keep introducing uh, regressions on your performance on your pages. Um, so ever, uh, since the last velocity, uh, we announced a bunch of integrations from uh, uh, Opera and Safari. And also this year we're announcing now uh, uh, Node.js server, which is a uh, variation of the command line, but running on the server. So I'll do it real quick here. Oh, where's my Chrome? Oh, it's here. Okay, so I have this hosted on, uh, on Nodester. So Nodester is a uh, Node.js platform, it's open source. So here's a um, RESTful API. You have the uh, uh, help in the beginning. 
So I'll grab one of the hard files I already ran from Chrome, uh, from uh, web based tests for Google. So grabbing this hard file, and uh, let me encode first, of course, and then um, har equals, so this is a remote har file, so you got the response, and you can enhance that uh, with parameters like uh, information grade, so you have all the grades as I showed on the command line. And yet, I have another integration with Showslow, so you can beacon all the results to Showslow. So here is the uh, URL to fire the beacon to, and then I will encode again, copy, and uh, I will beacon to this server, and also I will uh, make this uh, verbose, you see the result of the beaconing. So in the very end here, we have the beacon, 204, so we got approved uh, uh, on the server, and over here, if you refresh, probably have Google here, the first one, we just ran, and you have this tract. So it's a very simple integration. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty much I have to show you today. Thank you.